start recording okay so today class we are going to discuss about the uh, select statement guys okay select statement uh, okay so in a select so so from which table you want to select okay so selection will start from so you have to decide on which table you want to select your data okay so from which table we have a employee table okay we have a employee table so what are the columns you want to select okay you can select select star from also star means the total records okay total records from table okay star means what total columns whatever the columns we have in a table the total records will come okay so total columns will come guys okay that is the star okay even if we go some uh, different databases okay adventure works okay so in adventure works you can select like this also okay you can go to the tables okay you can right click and then you can select top thousand records also like this also you can select okay so like this also you can select okay so even graphically graphically you can select okay oh graphically also you can update also guys okay so even if you want to update graphically so even so if you go to the sample data okay if you go to the tables we have only one table okay customer table or employee table okay you can right click and then even you can go to the design okay you can go to the design so you can update also okay so even you can uh, sorry this is the creation okay creation table and uh, if you want to update your records you can go to the so edit rows okay edit rows edit rows locally so in here you can update suppose fifth record and then you can uh, go to the some uh, you know e and some salary okay 70000 something like that okay you can update like this also you can save it and then close it case okay you can save it and then close it what about so right click and then it's not required just empty rows delete it close okay if you select you will see that results also okay see fifth record okay you can update like that also okay but it's not um, uh, you know for admin only can do these things okay admin only can do these things okay some of the people ask it one doubt okay so if you if we insert like this so there are lakhs of records in a table right so how we can uh, insert that lakhs of records by using this insert command only no guys there are some different process we have uh, some stored procedures and uh, some uh, you know etl operations okay etl people also can load the data into tables okay that is a different way so we will come to that point but for now i am telling only some basics guys okay so where you can so for beginners it will be very useful so where we can do the insertion updation and deletion so how we can select and all okay so in this video we are going to do the selection okay so when we select okay when we select okay it, here suppose if you go to the adventure works so if some of the tables will have a more columns okay some of the tables will have a more columns suppose employee so here you can see the columns okay these many columns we have suppose you want to only see the two columns okay so from here if you select the select top 1000 rows so for all columns it's coming okay for all columns it's coming but if you want to only see the two columns okay um, then you can select only in selects you can specify how many columns you want to select okay just uh, close this okay suppose this table is there okay just drag this table here okay you can drag like this also and then you want to see only two columns you want to select only two columns from you can write a from okay and then write a select select okay so what are the columns you want to see okay so you can drag this like this also okay organization node and then suppose uh, job title okay so everything is a comma separated guys okay column should be a comma separated okay when you select so the column should be in a comma separated okay so we are in a sample database right that is the reason it's giving an error okay we are in a sample database right so that is the reason it's giving an error so you can keep the database name like this okay sorry so you can drag the database name like in front of this uh, table name and then you can keep a dot so it will go on okay so it will select from the database case okay is that clear so whatever so we are in a sample database that is the reason it's not recognized it was giving an error so when i keep uh, so database name in front of table 
it's not giving an error error guys okay if i remove this database name so it will give an error why because this is not in this database okay why because this is not in this database okay why because this is so it will give an error so if we this table is not recognized okay see so invalid object name okay so when we have a database name in front of this table name okay it will give an error uh, it will not give an error guys okay it will execute it will take that it will go to the database and it will pick the table name and then so whatever the columns you selected it will pick from there okay it will fit from there okay hope it's that clear guys okay how many columns you want to keep okay how many columns you want to keep you can okay you whatever the columns you required so that columns only you can take guys okay that columns only you can take so this is about the select okay in select if you want to filter something like where organization node is something and where job title is something like this okay so where job title is tool designer okay something like that you want to select so you can go where class okay so where class is to filter your data okay where class is to filter your data how excel, uh, how in excel you will filter the same way okay the same way you can filter where class okay tool designer guys okay you can take a copy copy with header okay there is a copy with header so you can take copy with header so the column name you no, no need to write a column name guys okay you write no need to write a column name so the job title will come okay and then so you can go here like this and then this tool designer is your okay you want to see the tool designer how many tool designers you have okay in your employee table how many tool designers you have in your employee table okay you want if you want to see that so you can go that and then you can select okay only tool designers job title how many tool designers we have so only two tool designers we have okay like that you can go okay <clears throat> so next when it is high date something like that so in where class you can write so many conditions okay so we have a different types of where and class r class okay and um, um, in not in okay so we'll see these classes tomorrow guys okay even distinct okay distinct will give the unique records okay you will select the distinct records also okay suppose you can go here so suppose if you select this okay sorry if you select this so select in detail we will uh, discuss select in detail tomorrow but for now so there are duplicates see this research and development manager research and development manager duplicates are there and tool designer and everything okay market manager market ma market and analyst so how many job titles okay so i want to see how many job titles are there okay just you want to see the how many job titles okay just select the copy this one okay you can take a copy okay and you can select distinct okay distinct means unique uh, job titles you can see okay just distinct okay distinct job title okay job title you can select and then you can execute guys okay so it will give a distinct unique job titles it will give okay like that way you can give okay see so account accountant to account manager account payable specialist to these are the so unique okay unique job titles we have in a uh, human resource employee table okay so human resource employee table we have that okay so in uh, in where class okay in where class we can do more things okay we can do more things so we have a different different type of classes okay so we'll discuss the different different type of classes tomorrow classes guys okay in tomorrow class we'll discuss tomorrow and class r class and uh, um, in uh, not in uh, all are we will discuss tomorrow class okay so hope you like my video so okay uh, like it and share uh, and subscribe my channel guys okay thank you thank you so much